one it's ryan with 1075 emergency vehicles come check out this new 2020 chevy tahoe command vehicle that we built <laughs> How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're looking at today is the 2020 Chevy Tahoe Command Vehicle that we built for the Ocean View Fire Department. Off the bat, this unit features Whalen Carbide System with the OBD2 interface and some expansion modules. Um, we have the slide switch activating our lighting features. Below we have our arrow stick functions along with the flashing functions for the back inner edge. This has the rotary knob controller for the siren functions along with extra buttons for the manual and the air horn. Um, our functions off the control panel allow for the front pioneer uh, that's mounted to the push bar bar. We have a front scene which illuminates the front of the vehicle. We have a left and a right scene and we also have a rear override scene. Our command activates our green flashing and then we have a low power function and a 360 function also. Uh, the console is one of our angled series consoles that allows for their two radios to be mounted here, along with cup holders. Uh, their portable chargers recessed into the console faceplate, along with the customer supplied flashlight installed. Up top, up top we've uh, flushed their speakers for their radios into the headliner uh, with a special bracket that allows this speaker to be removed without any disassembly of anything and then we have their dome light installed also. Top. Uh, this vehicle features uh, primarily Whalen engineering warning lights and signaling. Um, it features their carbide control system along with the OBD2 interface. Up top we have the front inner edge that's in dual color configuration which is flashing red now because we are in park. Uh, it will also have a little bit of white flashing in drive. Uh, we have a Satina PB450 with the integrated Whalen ion lights. They are also in a dual color configuration with the white override and then they also have the white flashing in drive. Uh, we have the Federal Signal AS124 speakers. There are two mounted to the grill, and then there's also another one mounted behind the grill for additional siren warning. And then we have a Pioneer dual lamp mounted underneath the push bumper. This provides additional scene light. Uh, one other thing that we've also done is we've brought in a set of factory fog lights because the vehicle wasn't equipped with that. We've tied them into the carbide system and then triggered them to come on with the headlights all through the OBD2 interface without having the need to splice any wiring into it. Uh, you can also check out the graphics package that we've installed on the vehicle. We've done this to match their existing fleet. Taking a look at the side, we have the Whalen under mirror intersectors. Uh, on the running boards, we have Whale and Ions in dual color configuration, along with the rear side window. Then on the back, you can see we have a Kusmal auto eject installed. Uh, this has the display port mounted behind the glass, so that way when you plug in the car, you'll see the bar graph light up. Uh, this system is also a dual battery charger, so it will charge both banks of batteries because the Tahoes are equipped with a battery isolator. And then taking a look at the back, uh, we've installed the rear inner edge. That is also in dual color. It has the amber override feature for the arrow stick functions. Uh, we've enabled the factory taillight flasher. And then we've also installed whale and ions that are in dual color configuration to the rear bumper. So with the back hatch opened, you can see we have a set of red whale and ions with the grommet mount into the rear hatch. Uh, the inside ones are actually green that will show you that when they are active, uh, they will flash the green warning lights. We have recessed their speakers as same as the headliner into the hatch, uh, and then they're tied into the rear radios. These help project the sound downwards at them when they're standing. They're not mounted on the side of the cabinet. And then we also have Technique dual color red white uh, compartment lighting that will shine down on the work area here for them. And then you can see that we have switches mounted to the rear panel that allow all of our warning lights to be shut off. We also have the green command function. So what that'll do is that'll enable the green flashing here. And then it'll also put the under mirror lights into a green steady mode. So taking a look at the rear cabinet of this vehicle, 
Um, this is one of our gear safe containment systems. So our filter is mounted onto the top. We have our sealed door and latch, and then we have an area that allows them to store their gear, their pack. They have an additional shelf that they can put into the back if they so wish. We've got our radio face plate with our Kenwood radios that are recessed into it, along with our switch panel. We've got the mag mics that are ready to be installed for the customer when they arrive to pick up the vehicle. Uh, and then we have two parts drawers that allow them to store whatever equipment that they may need. And then below we have another larger parts drawer that they may want to store an AED in. Uh, because of the design of the cabinet, they've elected a side flip command board. So uh, unlike a traditional one that would lay flat, this one's on its vertical and it has gas pistons that ratchet up so that you can write from this instance and you're looking at your radios from this position. So taking a look at the back of the cabinet, this cabinet's tailored to fit the back seat so that any equipment that's here doesn't necessarily fall out and it gives them more storage at the bottom of the unit. On the side we have their uh, radio chassis with the Cosmo Auto Charger that has an adjustable shelf over it with a cover that will allow them to cover their equipment and then if they ever need to add more equipment they can raise it up and they don't have to worry about any equipment sitting on top of their radio chassis. It allows for easy service and flexibility down the road.